Yes, Pavel, here the, um, the issue in the, in, the, in the control room is that the, um, the articulation is different in the triplets between each group of instruments. Okay, let's, let's, let's fix it. And I've been very lucky to work with Pavel on some absolutely amazing music, including full cycles of Beethoven, uh, Schumann, Brahms, and now Tchaikovsky. And this is the core of the standard repertoire for orchestras. Take 27. Mm -hmm. Well, we both come to our recording sessions uh, with a common goal, which is, above all else, to get uh, the best result possible. That with Pavel, uh, we are always finding uh, and searching for new things in the music to bring it uh, freshness, to bring it new inspiration and new authenticity. There's a lot of aspects to Pavel's work um, which is to really look at amazing amount of detail and to bring out things that probably have not been heard before. Um, what one thing that I would like to uh, like to uh, uh, suggest is lam padan ta ta ra ta ra da yam padan ta ti ri ti ri yam padan ta ti ri ti ri polaka. And I have in general preferred always recording live because live with audience with the feeling of feeling of, 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 of real performance. I find that it adds something special to the, to the recording. Well, the, the beauty of recording live concerts is that you are really capturing something ephemeral, something that will only occur once, that um, Pavel is finding each night something new and something rewarding for himself, for the music, and for the orchestra and for the audience. The difficulty when you're doing a studio recording is that you are repeating yourselves. And often the first or second performances of a, of a particular patch or a particular area that you're doing with the music might be absolutely full of energy and of creativity and spontaneity. And then take three and take four and take five of the same patches to get to be a little monotonous, and the energy level begins to drop. Try for Harbit. Pav, right there at H, yes. um, as this new um, section begins, the piano, is it possible to give just a little bit of time before the first violin start and the third beat? So we actually can hear it, because otherwise there's so much accumulation of sound, you don't hear their first note. Do you know what I mean? Try for Harbit. Two. But um, the spirit of the concert also comes from experience and comes from the experience of, of having a, a, a very professional and, and well-prepared orchestra, which we do have. We have a very good recording team, Philip uh, Traugat and his, his crew is amazing. And um, I have done a few recordings in my life as well, so this whole understanding that this needs to really be like a real performance is, is so in planted in the back of my head that we don't let the tension die. It's very good. One suggestion. Lampara. Let's, let's, it's, the cantabile is just illusion. It's still in tempo. Yeah? But Pavo in particular is extremely meticulous, extremely demanding, and that demanding on his part um, creates the standard for all of us to try to live up to. It's very hard. But in the end, there is a sense of satisfaction and reward that we have done something really amazing. Good morning.